Cisco Firepower Threat Defense, Dynamic Objects. So since Firepower version 7.0, Cisco introduced Dynamic Objects. This is a new type of attribute available in Access Control Policy. The dynamic objects are configured using a REST API interface of the FMC and similarly to the other dynamic attributes supported so far. This includes ICE and Active Directory. And this updates Firepower in real time without the need of policy deployment. Now I've got an image here just to give you a perspective of how this might work. We've got a couple of workloads. They're dynamic, their IPs may change. And think of AWS and Azure and all these cloud infrastructures, the dynamic nature of deploying um, systems and workloads. This is a critical need. The ability to have policy enabled within Firepower that dynamically gets updated when these IPs change without having to do policy push. And that's what Dynamic Objects does. Let's jump right into this and have a look at it. All right, let's go to objects, object management, and we'll go over to dynamic objects. We'll go over to external attributes and then dynamic objects. We'll go add dynamic object, we'll give it a name. And the type will be IP, that's workload one. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to access control policy. And we'll go ahead into the base policy that's assigned to this particular device. And let's go ahead and add a rule once we confirm our identity policy. And we can see that's in place. Cancel that out. All right, we're going to create a couple of rules here for the workloads themselves. So the first one is block Kali subnet. So let's go ahead and search for that workload one underscore subnet. That's one of the objects that we have created as a dynamic object. Let's go ahead and log at beginning of connection. We'll move this rule up and above rule one. Let's go ahead and add that rule. Let's go ahead and add another one. Permit workload. And we'll go ahead and allow, go ahead and select attribute type, secure group tag. So we're using identity services engine and the source is going to be employees. And a dynamic object of workload one. and log at end of connection. So if you are part of the identity services group, security group employees and try to access workload one, you're gonna be able to do that. If you are on the Kali subnet accessing workload one subnet, you're going to be denied. All right, everything looks good here. We're just checking the uh, pre-filter policy here. And what we want in this particular case is the default pre-filter policy. So I'm just setting that here. Remember, this is a lab environment, so we've got to make some additional changes. Now, targeted device, we want to make sure the policy is assigned to our NGFW1 asset. We'll go ahead and hit OK. We'll hit Save. And like always, we got to hit deploy. Now we have to deploy because we've made multiple different changes. But remember, once we have this deployed, if the workload IPs change dynamically, it's going to update the Firepower uh, device itself, the next gen firewall platform dynamically. This is not going to need a policy push moving forward. All right, let's go over to user activity. Let's just make sure that we can see um, identity here. We see Harry and Dilbert and Erica and Rita. So we've got identity coming in. And now let's go ahead and we'll do a query for unified events here. And we're gonna look for destination IP of 
133.200. And we'll go ahead and hit apply. We'll do a filter here. And let's scroll down here to SGTs, make sure that it's checked. And we're good to go. And we'll go ahead and we'll go live here. All right, now it's time to do some testing. So let's jump on our uh, box here. We'll log in as if we're Harry. And so the ice attributes will get updated. And you can see we're trying to ping that workload. And we've got no reply, but we see a, an, a, an event triggered here. And we can see there's a block. And if we scroll across, we can see SGTs. So in this particular use case, the user Harry is trying to ping that asset in the Kali or in the block Kali subnet, and it's being denied. Even though they've got an SGT of employees, it's being blocked. All right, let's open up Postman. We're going to do a couple of things here to dynamically update that that object. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use this command here to gen generate a generic token. Let's go ahead and send that. And you can see here, if we drill into this a little bit, um, we did get a response. We got a 204 no content response, but it was successful. Everything here looks okay. So let's go ahead and move to the next step. The next one we're going to do is get workload one, um, the dynamic object. So let's go ahead and start that. Let's go ahead and click get workload one and we'll go ahead and send that. And if we scroll down, we see a 200. So we were successful. And if we scroll down and look at the content returned, we can see the name workload one, the type dynamic object and the object and the object type is IP. All right, let's go ahead and add that IP. Now you're gonna see how fast this actually takes place here. So again, we're doing this manually, but you can see we've got 200, it was successful. We see the mapping here of 198.18.133.200. And look at that, before we can even get back to the page, we're seeing that ping is now allowed. As Harry, which is part of the employees secure group tag, right? That that dynamic object from identity services engine and that other dynamic object which is the workload now if we go back into objects and we go into external attributes dynamic objects we can see that we've got workload one number of IPs that are mapped is one now we had zero and if we download it we're going to be able to open it and see that IP that's entered there that was pretty neat right very easy and now imagine that you've got these scaling elastic workloads in your cloud infrastructure uh, being brought up and torn down as needed you now no longer need to come back in here and manage these access rules this, this is all done dynamically for you all right let's jump back to unified events and let's go ahead destination ip 198 18.133.200 as we did before we'll go ahead and hit apply look at this rule in detail now we can see that it's access control rule is now hitting that permit workload one we see the ping is successful we have already seen this in the log all right let's go ahead and jump back into Postman. Now we built this system dynamically because we needed additional workloads to support the high sales season. And now that demand is no longer required. Now again, we would tear down this virtual instance, this workload. And, um, and normally we'd have to come back into Firepower, remove that IP address from an object group, redeploy the policy. You don't need to do that. Let's go ahead and, and, and do this using that dynamic object 
Let's go ahead and send that removal and watch how quick this is. We just hit send and bam, request time to. There's no going back and having to push policy. You, firepower now dynamically changes as the environment changes as well based on the needs. Now, if we resume unified events, we can see that block. It's automatically blocking that ping request. That's it. Easy peasy stuff. Thank <music> you.